Hello everyone, this is MD Tech here for another tutorial. Today I will be showing everything you need to know about System Restore in Windows 10. Uh, System Restore itself is not a new feature. It was introduced back in Windows Millennium Edition, which was released over 15 years ago. And what it basically does is it allows the user to revert their computer state, including system files, applications, registry, keys, and different settings to a previous point in time which can be used to recover from different system compatibility issues or just to troubleshoot issues that come up on a regular basis while using the Windows operating system. But I did want to make a tutorial showing how to resolve this issue. So it's very simple. If we type into the Cortana search bar here, we can just type in System Restore. If we click on Create a Restore Point, it's located under the Control Panel. If we click on that, we see under system properties that our main drive, the protection is listed as on. We can configure restore points by clicking on the configure tab here. We can see that system protection is currently on and we can see the amount of space it is currently occupying on our disk. That is the maximum amount allotted for system restore. Generally, I would say under 10% is more than enough. I mean, right now we're only at 2% because that is what our current usage is. And like I was saying, if it's currently disabled, this is how you can enable it by clicking on Turn On System Protection and then click Apply and OK. We can create a System Restore Point by clicking on the Create button. So then we can type in whatever name we want this Restore Point to be listed as. Um, I typically like to do the date that I am creating the System Restore Point because I find that to be the easiest. But if you want to type in Installed, like updates or something so you can keep track of it. Anything is fine. See that right now it's creating a restore point. It doesn't take that long to create a system restore point. It depends on how old the computer is and that sort of thing. And we see that the restore point was created successfully. And now how you actually perform a system restore is if you click on the system restore button right here. We can see we get a dialog window here saying restore system files and settings. We click on next. Now it's important to note that System Restore will not delete personal documents, pictures, or files, or that kind of thing. It's more, like I said earlier, rolling back Windows updates and registry entries and that sort of thing. So what we want to do is just select on whatever restore point we are looking to go back to. Now we can also, in addition to this, instead of just scan going right back to the restore point, we could also scan for affected programs to see if there are any programs that are coming up as being changed or modified during this window between when the system restore point was created and now. So it'll give you an idea of what might what may be changed or deleted once we restore. Now this is a fresh computer, so I'm not really expecting anything to show up here. So we see that none were detected. And we would see in this box it would tell us any programs that would have to be deleted in the process of restoring our system. And down here would show any drivers or programs that might have to be restored or modified to an earlier state. There could be compatibility issues with any programs listed down here. So basically how we could do it, just click on whatever restore point we want to go back to. Click on next. It's going to tell us the drives that it's going to restore. It's going to tell us a time stamp of when the restore point was created, and it's going to tell us a name in which we provided this restore point. We can click on finish. Once started, system restore cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? I want to click on yes. I'm going to fast forward for a little bit of this, and once we get something new, I'll be right back. everyone I'm back the computer restarted we just have to insert our password for the computer okay so we can see system restore completed successfully the system has been restored to this date that we made the system restore point the documents have not been affected alright so hopefully this will have resolved your issue 
If not, I do have another video about how to run automatic repair in Windows 10 to help resolve other issues. And there are other troubleshooting methods that I may go into in later videos, but this is a very simple and basic way on how to help resolve very common computer errors. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content in the future, and I will see you in the next one.